All right, guys, here we go. The uh, rain finally gave up and it's maiden day. So got the big, beautiful doll out here and we're ready to go. So coming up next, be the maiden. Very nice. Not short on power. That's nice. So what battery does it take? Uh, I've got a 2S 1300, I believe, in there. Wow, 2S. That was pretty good. I thought I was thought you were gonna say 3S. Get a little trimming going here. About half throttle, just loafing around. Get the feel of it. Get her going straight. Maybe we could put the battery a little farther forward, perhaps. That so it's handling nice. Mid rates feel pretty good so far. I probably could use a little more expo. Feels a little touchy on the elevator, so that battery could go a little further forward. We'll turn around here and we'll try some aerobatics. We'll do a loop. Big loop. Go. Simple roll. Full throttle. Into a vertical. We'll see if we can't get a little stall turn action. Good. Yeah, it looks awesome. There's a little bit of wind out here, but you can't tell too much. Little bobbles here and there, but not bad. Bad for 800 millimeter. Looks really nice too. Yeah, it's tracking like a boss. Should probably put the auto level on and see how that does. I'm gonna go up here. I'll get into a weird configuration, so I'm gonna bank it and flick it on now. <laughs> like butter. It's always a good mode to, I don't know, if you're a little bit of a beginner, you can take off and land in that stuff. It makes it a little easier sometimes. Or if you get sun in your eyes or who sun knows. Sun in your eyes or get in trouble. Still in auto level mode. I'm holding full aileron. That's what it does, so it won't let you get into trouble. You can still crash it if you drive it into the ground, but yep. it'll take some of the dumb thumbs out. See what happens when we try to do a loop. Full up elevator now. That's all you get. <laughs> Out of auto. I kind of lost it. Okay, that's fine. Another high speed pass. Make sure I stay above that fence. Yeah, a tricky <laughs> fence. Do a little yanking and baking. Test GB's winter camera skills. Hey, I'm a little rusty. I apologize, guys. Kind of a funky split S y thing. Just yanking and banking. Just slow it down a little bit, see what happens. Half throttle, loping around. One minute left on the five minute timer. One minute. <laughs> Air pocket there. So we'll come around here, we'll, maybe we'll try a touch and go and see how that works out. Nice. Wind's a little challenging. It's a little more rudder throw for me. It's a little, a little tricky to keep her straight with the crosswind. Go right over GB's head. We'll come around here and we'll stick this landing. I'm gonna turn the auto level on and give that a try. See how that works for landing.
nice. Five-minute timer just quit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a little more rudder throw for the next flight, but that was what I would call a success. Let's test that battery and see how it does. Here's where I had it. I maybe stuff it up there a little further on the next one. Get a better look at that. It's kind of up in there. But oh yeah. That's where it CG'd out pretty well, but uh, you know. Your mileage may vary. Yes. So there's the pack. Link's down below in the description for everything I use in the videos. Let's plug her in here and see what is in there. Where are we at? 41%. So I could probably crank my timer up a little more than that. <laughs> Very efficient. So pretty good for a four blade prop and 2S power. Everything 2S power. Cool. Well, I'm happy with that, guys. That was a success ugh, successful maiden. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description for GB Lens RC. John VHRC out.